There are 200,000 plus service members that transition out of the military each and every year. How do we position them for success? The challenges and the barriers associated with that transition from military to civilian life are often ones that our service members don't see and recognize until they're experiencing them. We collect a lot of information here. How do we translate from the research, measurement, and evaluation that we're doing behind the scenes into a story that other veterans, donors, how everyone understands that story is critical to our success. Being able to marry financial data with program data and in a concise and consistent way that we can say and predict where money is coming and going as it relates to the programs, as it relates to different components coming in, what can we expect, how can we forecast, how can we predict. So we're at the very beginnings of developing an enterprise-wide data management strategy for the Institute. There's been a, a recognized need from, from the leadership team on down that there's a need for the development of uh, a, a broad uh, data management strategy uh, to help govern what we do. I think SAS data management is going to be quite revolutionary. We've had data in many different places all over the Institute, and we have not been able to integrate it. SAS basically allowed us to instantly produce results that we can act on, that we can respond to, that we can deliver to stakeholders. I rely upon it to make decisions, I'll be honest with you. Like, the ability to kind of make more informed decisions is driven by strong data analytics, driven by strong measurement. It reduces variance, it allows us to standardize procedures, and it really allows us to focus at scale um, across the enterprise. I think that not only will SAS impact how we do our work and how we think about our information, but ultimately it's going to impact most profoundly the people that we serve. Thank you.